and fight heart disease. Log on to register now. I am very, very excited this morning to be on the road. We are at Good World Goods at the Makers on East Brainerd Road. Over the course of the years on 3 Plus U, Victoria York has come our way to showcase the beautiful pieces they have at Good World Goods. But man, oh man, Victoria, how happy you must be to be in this new space for you. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much. We absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's so much more light and space, and um, we get to show off so many more items that we have. So it's called Good World Goods at the Makers. We're kind of on the Makers side of things, right? Right. Uh, the way you have the store divided. I'm going to just start gushing a little oh. bit, and I'm going to gush a lot. So when you, total honesty, when you pull in, y'all are in the Food City parking lot right. on East Brainerd Road. So you see the storefront, and you think, well, I wonder what's in there, because it's a, kind of a strip mall area, right? Exactly. Then you open the door and you're in this other world of light and airy artwork all along the walls, much of it local. Then you find out that their artist brains can mesh with yours and you can make people custom pieces with your expertise. Which is one of the funnest things we do when people have an idea and they just don't know how to move forward on the idea or they do know how to move forward and just want someone to follow through for them and, and have it made. It's one of the funnest things that we do. You also, we'll just kind of meander in this conversation, okay? Price points, everything is reflected in this door. $10 and under and in the hundreds of dollars category because you've got fine pieces in here. Right, right. We have um, some artists who have actually been collected by, God bless her now, Barbara Bush. Um, uh, people who are national award winners, um, to people who are new but very talented. Since um, you mentioned Barbara Bush, let's talk about that artist for a minute. That might be the work that you're seeing behind us, these beautiful wooden sculptures. Whose creations are these? This is Tom Swearingen, a dear friend of mine, and he can look at a chunk of wood and say, oh, that's going to be a mermaid. And, and he just has the vision. He's so talented. Now. Equally talented, in my opinion, to the side of that is this beautiful sculpture, a bust. That's your work. That's You're my work. You're doing that. Yes. Talk, uh, brag I, on yourself a little, Victoria. I, well, we, we do body molds and hand molds. I love doing, like, generational molds. We'll have a mother, daughter, granddaughter, or great, and we make creative pieces. But I also, the very Romanesque I mm -hmm. guess, mm -hmm. right? The the old stone statues and things. So I enjoy sculpting things like that. So she and I were talking. I had lots of questions. Imagine that for her. And you have a friend who is an interior decorator. Yes. So if you're wanting to do something like this, uh, we're on the cusp of graduation season. It's going to be here before you know it. Mother's Day coming up next month. If you're wanting to give something like that, but you don't quite trust your eye, this friend will go to a person's house and kind of take a look and then collaborate with you right. to create the masterpiece. Right. Right, um, because now you have several eyes. We have the visionary, which would be you, right? Mm -hmm. The person with the original vision. Mm -hmm. You have an artist and you have an interior designer. And between the three, we can create something that nobody else would ever have. They and also, it's uniquely yours. They also will teach you how to be the creator. You know, if you are a DIYer right. and you want the enjoyment of knowing that you did it yourself, you can do that here too. Um, you've got your own versions of chalk paint that you sell, but you help people customize the color. Right, yes. Um, very often, chalk paint colors, you're kind of limited to what is offered. And white is not white. There's a blue white, there's a cold, cool white, a warm white. And so you can take your paints, mix it with our chalk paint mix, um, which is completely non-toxic, mm -hmm. and, um, and, and just continue to use the paints that you have at home or that you want to use. Talk about the artwork that's on your walls. It's beautiful. Some is photography, some, some is, is photog watercolor, some is oil, right? Yep, yep. Right now our featured artist is uh, Cindy McCashin. Um, we have her artwork up. She does uh, acrylics and watercolors, and she does some amazing work. Um, we have photography from a local artist. We have uh, more other acrylic art. My husband is an artist. We've got some of his work, though I will say most of it is sold right now. <laughs> He, he is quite the artist, and so let's brag on Brad. Uh, what, what we're talking in front of here, this bench, I guess, if you will, right. uh, table, he created this? He created this. He created this, okay. 
And um, we've all seen headboard and footboard benches and things like that, but this one has a nice storage. I came home with a 1920s dresser that had no drawers, no anything to it. And he said, what are you doing to me? I was like, but it's so pretty. Look at the lines. We have to do something. It was a shell. And so he made a drop-down desk out of it. Okay, I'm glad you said look at the lines because if people watching are like me, you might have a piece of furniture at your house and it's dated. Maybe you've painted it a few times and you kind of ruined the wood, but the lines are good. Right. And it means something to you, but you don't have the knowledge to know how to bring it to life. Right. People can bring it here and collaborate with you. Right. Very often people have a piece that was passed down from a grandmother and it just doesn't go in the house whatsoever, but they want to, to somehow save it. Um, if not in its entirety, um, like we took an entertainment center and turned it into benches. It's beautiful. So, so we can um, come in and say, I love this piece. I don't know what you can do with it. And it may take us a day to think about it, right. you know, or talk with you about your ideas. Um, but certainly we can recreate it and find a way to have you save it. It is, there, there is everything in this store. We don't have time to get into all of the different items that are here, but I'm telling you, if you have a small budget, come in. If you've got time on your hands, come in. And if you've got lots of money to spend, still come in because there's stuff for men here, women here, right. as I mentioned, college graduates, your grandparents, anybody in your life. Home art gifts is kind of the asterisk, I guess. Right? Well, that's well put. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. So come and shop Good World Goods at the Makers. And we're not even through because we know Mother's Day is coming up uh, just a few weeks from now. So we're going to come back out and talk the Good World Goods side of things to give you ideas to give your mom on her very special day. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you so very much. You love where you live.